All right, fantastic. Welcome back. This right here is the last segment of this show. And today being Entrepreneurship Tuesday, we're going to talk about matters, how to sustain. In fact, how to create. It's literally, this is a hack conversation. And uh, before we get too far, I want you to start interacting with us on our social media platform. And that includes uh, Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter as well at Y254 underscore channel. That's on Instagram. And uh, you can find me at BrianSoko101. YouTube is Y254 channel, not Y254 TV, by the way. And also on Facebook, Y254 channel. And then uh, the hashtag is still uh, Y in the morning. So, uh, you know, sometimes you always see uh, young people dressing up in this amazing, you know, fashion designs. And uh, there's somebody who called it a fashion lookbook. But then how do you incorporate that into a business aspect to a point you're able to make money for yourself? And especially in this day and age where it's all about sharing on social media, the likes. And I love the fact that last year we talked about, you know, the Insta marketing tool. How can you actually uh, capitalize on social media to make a living, to make something for yourself? And this includes cheddar or money or that DAO. And joining me live in studio with us is uh, a very powerful gentleman. <laughs> you can call him Pretty Boy Flacco, but he's Austin Alinda. He's only 19 years old and the things he's doing on social media are amazing. First of all, good morning. Um, good morning. Uh, welcome to IT4 channel. This is why in the morning. Um, thank you. I'm privileged to be here and I'm really grateful for this opportunity. All right. So, uh, you know, I was, I was checking through your Instagram. Uh -huh. And uh, I looked at your Instagram and compared it with uh, Esa Proc. It's like, are you, are you doing something, you know? Uh, are you trying to do something with Esa Proc? I normally follow happening? up to the style because the name, even the name, my name, Pretty Boy Flaco, it's okay. basically his other name as in they're also known as. So basically, he's a mentor to me. So as in the designs, the whatever, the way he poses, I'm just looking up to him because I want to be successful like the guy. The guy, the guy is really feeling nice right now. Right. Yes. So, so in short, when Esa Proki. Everything. You talk in your head. You, have you tried to send him DMs? I'm trying, like, but then, okay, yeah, inshallah, Hi, we'll just, we'll just, I really yeah. love your fashion. You inspire me. You try. All right. Hopefully, yeah. he'll reply someday. Or maybe I'll get to dress him someday. Amen. Now, away from that, uh, let's come back to you. Uh, you're only 19 years old, but yes. uh, you told me you started this business of yours in 2018. First of all, what is the name of this brand? Before we even get to this outfit, it's really an interesting outfit. <laughs> um, the name of the brand is Yikes. So this is my brand, my own brand, which I just came up with after I was done with high school, which was last year, April or something. So the brand is just, everything is Kenyan made, everything is locally made, and I guess you can just look at it and you can just think it's from the States. So I want to make the brands in Kenya. You know, people in Kenya are really creative, but then there's no exposure. So you find people, Okoko Geto, Metulia, people are there in Kibera, but then when, you, when they go to machines and start sewing, they can come up with something nice. So we're trying to right. build a culture where people can find it, find it, Amusing to dress Kenyan brands to Navali Ankara, to Navali Anini, to Navali Ikes, as in to check Valia Manike and everything because we're giving them money. It's better we just put the money in our, in our community and right. it just goes around. It's big. Right. Yeah, so that's what keeps inspiring me because I want to build something which I can be old. When I'm 30, I'm like, I'm seeing these people walking in town, they have my brand. I'm seeing people walking at ghetto places, they have my brand. No, no brand na move killer pal. I didn't pita pal na pati mangusho. I brought a friend. Ajua, this thing is moving. Ajua, you're successful. Exactly. Now, be, before that, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure, while you're starting this, uh, this, this business, you either borrowed an idea and uh, you had to actually think about it, have a business plan. Did you have like? an initial business plan of uh, our picture, like just behind the scenes, like this is what I want to come up with. And then you went and researched, because I, I understand most businesses have like, like a business yeah, structure, a plan. you know. Did you have it before? I wouldn't say when I started I had a plan, but then it was something more of passion. Okay. As in, when I was back in primary, there was something, I, I was in Westlands primary. Back in primary, when you were almost closing school, there was something called fun day. So you could normally pay 300 shillings and then the day which which fun day was, you could come to school with home clothes. Okay. So that's when you could go home. On a pigesavu, it was a mixed school with both girls and boys. On a pigesavu, you want to go back there in school tomorrow with some outfit. This boy is looking nice. So you see, that feeling when someone says your outfit is looking nice, yeah. you're looking ah, so I'm a pig, I'm uh, cool. Okay, okay, I'm up easy. Exactly. Yeah. So back then in primary in Kanzako, it, we were I was me and my friend, he's called Alfan. We were the, bo we were the boys, we were too young again. In primary you could find you in class six, but then to keep pig a look, to not t shirt class eight. No, no. The girls from class eight they are coming and they're saying, Wow, you look nice, 
by then we're just small. So I feel like you know dog, I came to feel nice. So yeah. that's when I started loving fashion. It came out as a passion. Yeah. And since then, I never knew I would venture into some businesses like this. I never knew. Okay. Because mm -hmm. literally I never knew even where the clothes were bought or anything. It was just something of learning. I was I was going to town back when I was in Fomon or something. Yeah. There's this place called Dement House where they normally yeah. sell outfits. Mm -hmm. So that's where I was Staying almost the rest of my day, like up on Atulia, me I was like one of the deliveries. I'm allowed to forget five hundred, but the names are Kuji to Matuma Kidogo. So that's when I decided and said, Let me let me learn what they do. I'm just uh -huh. seeing people getting money, me not put a comma twenty percent or ten percent because I'm doing deliveries, uh -huh. but then I'm there. So I decided to give myself a task and just try and learn where they get the clothes, where they get the shoes. When the delivery guy was coming, bringing the shoes, and I could just bring the shoes at the house, I've been told by this guy, so my, the guy I was working under, I've been told by this guy you to, mentioned it's to follow Nairobi Salmon? Nairobi Sneaker. Nairobi okay. Sneaker has been giving me a space to work since back then. I'm really appreciative to him. By the okay. Way. So He's the one who designed shoes for Baba? Yes. That Baba rejected he's been them. He rejected him fully. or accepted them? No, he's never rejected them. As in, he's been dressing him fully during the election time fully. Okay. He's the dress of Baba, even Baba you know, most of the Most of the ODM people, he normally dresses them. Right. He's dressed calligraphy. He's been doing things until he left. He left Kenya. So right now he's not in Kenya. Oh, wow. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, so, so you're working under him? Yes, I was working and on him. stealing notes, you know. Right now, I wouldn't say, I would say I'm still working under him because he's been an inspiration to me. Back then when I was in school, I, I used to like his style. He's been uh -huh. a dresser, he's been topping the Nairobi charts of fashion and everything. So when he left, I decided, let me take the spot. And trust me, I'm not coming easy. I'm just coming for the spot. Okay. Exactly. I want to maintain the spot he left. At 19. At 19 you know, years you know I'm looking at you and I'm, I'm trying to look at somebody who was 18, Juicy. The things they are doing and the things you are doing, especially when it comes to business. And, you know, there's, there's always been that association like, you know, you can't. You said you are lawyer, anyways. Um, yes, you know, I'm, but I'm you a lawyer. But uh, mm. but look at you, you know. And at some point, you said you went to Western and then came back. You know, how yes, was that transition my high school, and how did it affect you? My high school, my high school season. I, I've been, I've been staying in Nairobi for my whole, my whole life and everything. But then, when I was done with primary, it looked wana kaleka kiburi flani. So parents were like, you can't stay in Nairobi, we'll have to take you to Western. Because parents, Kenyan parents normally believe when they take you to rural homes to learn, you'll be disciplined, you'll be chill. But then they don't know, high school is just high school. Whatever uh, is happening in Nairobi is the same thing happening in Kakamega. So okay. I've been in Kakamega throughout my high school life. So probably mid terms, I wouldn't come to Nairobi because it was like five days to four days. So when right. I go shags, I'm supposed to be posting, I'm supposed to be doing businesses. I want shoes. No, because you can come So you have to control from there. Then once the business is done, you'll offer him like 200 shillings. So it has been affecting me for so long because I wouldn't say people knew I was in Western. I kept playing like hide and seek. I'm taking so many pictures before I leave Nairobi. So when I go back to Western, I have to come back for the long holidays. I have a collection of pictures. So I could just be posting. So people are just thinking the guy is in Nairobi. I could say, let come form. I'm ah, kidogo, I'm feeling well. Kidogo, nini. Just because you're not around. So it has okay. been affecting my life, as in the business-wise, uh, my social life, taking pictures and whatever. But then we, we, came, we came to finish it. So right now we're just here. All right. You came with your big brother. You said he's very supportive. Uh, exactly. In terms of navigating through the business, because, you know, at 19, you're still, you know, you're still young. Okay. For a month, they say you are a kid. You are a kid. I'm, I'm a teenager. You, you're still a teenager. <laughs> yes, exactly. There you go. So how do you handle that pressure of being, you know, not that fully adult uh, person, but then you have this business running, you're brushing shoulders with some elite people as well. How do you keep it grounded and still, you know, make money? Um, basically, my dad and my, as in my family, my dad, my mom, my brothers, they've been supportive fully. Even the starting capital, wherever I started this business with, I never, I nearly under school in Kenya with my uncle by then. By then, I I'm doing these things because my parents were like, I some, some. They were just in, right. my mom, my mom's a teacher. She really loves books. Okay, right. zingine, she's like a panasta kuskia. Oh. and whatever. So by then I could just seek options to other places. So I had to go to my uncle. My uncle gave me the same capital of ten thousand shillings. By then I was in Form One. It was a lot of money for me. Uh, this was in Form One. Exactly. The first money. Exactly. That's when I received my ten thousand shillings and that's when I decided this money will boost me from where I'm That's my starting capital. 
So okay. that's why I started. So what did you buy first? Shoes? So by then, a phone to post. After after getting the ten thousand shillings, I right. went for some outfit. By then, since I'm basically going to the places, so I was just buying the fit from the people. Oh. So they were just expecting. After ten thousand, okay, to me, I got five thousand. You have a full fit because the shoes were like thirty five hundred. The trousers mm. is two thousand. So after right. the money went. But then okay. I decided that after buying this thing, I'll buy this outfit, and whatever will come out of it mm. will make me something. And that's okay. when I decided to start posting. Because when I post, the pretty boy flaco generation came. That's right. when I started fashion when I put up at town Sundays to go to town. I remember the outfit. I'm really proud. I'm posing pictures. And that's yeah. when an era started. I can't go pick. I can't go pick. So people started loving my fashion and my fits. And that's how I started. And that's how it picked up. Exactly. And, and now, you mentioned that name, Pretty Boy Flaco. I'm still stuck there because there's a lot of pretty boys on Instagram. And there's a certain notion anyways. But, you know, you're still young. I know you'll change. But if you said if it becomes an international brand, you're not changing. I'm not changing. Uh, uh, do you feel like at some point people are not going to take you serious if you call yourself Pretty Boy Someone? And plus, if you add Flaco, because you mentioned Flanco is also Asa Proki. Exactly. Yes. Right. Maybe... Maybe maybe later on when I'm a big name, I know it will it will bring interruptions because you can't call yourself Pitbull Flaco because if you go to Google and search Pitbull Flaco, it will bring Asaprokis pictures. So you see it's tempering with your brand or something. So maybe when I'm big enough, like the name is big enough for a brand, I'll probably just go back to Austin Alinda, my official names. Okay. But then at the moment, I wouldn't say people will just hate me or criticize me because if someone loves what you're doing. Someone yeah. won't say anything. They just embrace Exactly, it. because there's a stage name and there's an official name. These okay. people, the Migos, whatever, their names, it's not their names. Those are yeah. stage names. Yeah. And you've never had someone say, I hate Migos because they are called Migos. I don't want them to call oh. themselves Jeffrey or something. No. Right. If someone loves you for what you're doing, I'm sure they won't criticize you. They'll just keep loving you, they'll keep supporting you. And that's what I love with my fans. My 43,000 followers, I'm really grateful to them because whatever I do, they just come through. The brands, they are buying everything promoting, just sharing everything, my post, and that's how I'm growing. So I wouldn't say the name is a trouble to me or something right now. But then later on, I'll, I can think about it and change later on. Right, you know, I'm just amazed at your confidence and, you know, your enthusiasm. You know, you talk passionately about it as if it's something you've done it for the last 40 it's because, years. It's because I've been right? loving it. It's because I've been loving You see, when you love something, when you have something, when you have passion for something, right. you can't stop. But then, if you're doing something because you want to impress people, you wouldn't go nowhere. So, you know, if you have passion, even though you're doing business, so make a January. You know, January finding someone to buy sneakers, it's really hard. Yeah. Because people had some share, wanna pick a share, December, then the money came out. When I put to Tambo, I want this shoe, and it's January, it's really hard. But right. then, because you have passion, you won't give up. You'll be like, right. it's fine. I've woken up today, I haven't made any sale, there's nothing. I'll keep doing it because you have right. passion. And right. I'll keep posting, I'll keep doing my thing. But then if you're doing something because you've been forced or because you want to impress someone out there or you want to compete with someone, okay. you won't last for long because it's not something you love. Oh, so that's wow. why you're saying I'm, I'm, more, I'm more confident with this because I know I'm shining with it. I know, I know. When I say I don't see someone as, as my mentor in Kenya on fashion, I know what I'm saying because you I'm don't a see someone. Myself. There's then no you can look up to in Kenya, in, Kenya, in the fashion industry. There's no one. What's, what's happened to John Kavik and Brian Babu? No, 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 there's no one. Because main thing, you know why yeah. I'm saying I'm not seeing anyone as a mentor in Kenya. Kenyan styles, Kenyan styles, they, they tend to do their things underworld. And at the moment, the people we are talking about, they are like 28, 20 something, 30s, no, they're John, older. I knew John Kavik when I was in high school. So you knew him yeah. back then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He right designed now, right some, now how we, something for some international been stars. You know? Oh, he's been doing the things for so long? Yeah, for a very long time. So, I know, I mean, maybe he's doing some good work, but then for me, I keep telling myself I'm my own inspiration, I'm my own mentor because I'm doing something which someone can't do with my age. Or nobody else is doing it. Exactly. Age. Most of the teens right now, they're at home, most of them, they keep depending on their parents. Mimi na kombia. If you ask my father or my mother the last time I told them to give me money for buying a fit, I don't know yeah. it was when. It was two, yeah, it was Nikitambo. Probably back when I was in form two, Nikitambo sana. Because I, I developed a culture, when I have my money, you can do what you have with your money. But then, you know, when you don't have your money in your pockets, you're restricted to doing something. Utakachini, yeah. useme, kuna form leo pali, but then tina kitu. So you have to start looking for a story to convince your mom, umame vinsdi nini, na kupatia pesa. But then you have your money, you can move freely. Okay. Even if it's 500, even if it's 200, as long as it's your money, you feel right. nice having it. So that's wow. what drives me. You know, uh, I'm, st I'm still stuck at 19 because, you know, at 19 uh, and 18, like just transitioning from 17, 18, 19, uh, young people are struggling with identity crisis. 
self-esteem issues, trying to understand their mind, understanding even adulthood. And looking at you seated here on TV, talking about how, you know, you want to be an, a fashion mogul and win those awards, it's just mind-blowing. By the way, I had an award. It was last year. You won an award as well? Yes, Fashion Design of the Extreme Awards last year. Oh, congratulations and good for you. Mm, uh, thanks. All right, uh, le le let's backtrack a little bit. Uh, when it comes to um, competition, there's always, there's always someone who is bigger. Even on TV, there's always someone who is big, who is a bigger name. Every, every, actually, every company has, you know, that, that elite person. Uh, how, how do you actually handle competition? Because I believe it's a race. You know, we are all in a race. Be it a business, a company, everything, school, everything. we are competing. How do you, you know, manage healthy competition to a place you don't feel some type of way when somebody, you know, that you know, maybe you never expected they'd be bigger than you, but again, they just took over by storm. Mm, yeah, you know, mm. how do you stay healthy even mentally? and continue to work. Basically about competition, I will say, I normally fight competition by being unique. When you okay. be unique and you do your thing, like right now, if you check my feed, yes, you know the-, what the feed? TV? My Instagram oh, feed. Oh, Instagram feed. Yes, okay. mostly I'm on Instagram. Instagram, Facebook, so my Instagram feed, that's why I normally do my things. Because that's oh, okay. the bigger media I have. I have like 14,000 followers. So that's why mm -hmm. I keep- That's doing. a lot of followers, you know, yes. for a young yeah. person, right? So that's why I keep doing my things. So basically, if it's about competition, I will right. say I normally, I, normally, I normally stick on being unique. Like okay. right now, maybe, maybe whatever I dressed in December or November is something that is something that someone wants to dress right now. Okay. I mean right now, I can figure out that when I leave December, I'm doing my self-brand. You dig? All right. Because uh -huh. my main goal this year, I want to do like every picture I post, All it right. has to have my brand. Because I want to promote my thing, it's mine. So if it's competition, maybe, maybe, maybe the sneakers, you know, Coming up with sneakers, it's too hard. It right. requires a bigger capital and whatever. Maybe the sneakers will match. But right. then when it comes to an outfit, you can never find someone wearing this thing. Because this leather, this mm -hmm. leather is custom made. And the leather material, you can work with it full day. You won't see a mile in your gym and sweat. It has some lining. Or it's it. fading. Exactly. It's just it has, nice. It has some sort of a sleep. Exactly. And, you know, and it has some and, more and zips. Zippers. You can just do, your, you can put your phones in it. So I'm just trying to be unique. Because I'm going to be a as an outfit like this, okay. they have gone through so much. So just stay unique and just believe in yourself. So you have a tailor, you have you have a it's, shop location yes, it's where a it's you a team. build you, this from scratch. Yes, it's a team. So I normally do the designs. I normally do the designs. I come up with designs. Then we put them on paper. After putting them on paper, I have someone who normally does the software designing and whatever. So at Akuja, at Akuja, form up these things on computer. It looks like some sort of a cartoon alien. Or yes, something. it's an alien. It's an alien. Something okay. like an alien. It's it's embedded in something. It has a story behind it. Okay. Do you mind telling us the story, please? Um, basically, X the brand. X the brand. I came up with this brand basically because of introverts in society. Introverts. If, yes, introverts. They are silent in society and they don't want to be so outside. They don't want to be listened. They just want to do their thing. Okay. So that's what made me come up with this brand. So the brand, it has a story of. I took the alien logo because it symbolizes. You see, Utaskia kama kuna story. When you normally watch these CNNs, these channels for foreign channels, Utaskia, they are saying we found some pictures of aliens somewhere in space. Exactly. So I tried and said the aliens they are there. Oh, you believe aliens are there? Exactly. I believe they are there because it's something that has been done and has been proven by these scientists and whatever. You know, the the normal world nowadays we normally believe in science because science. Giving out medicines, giving out things, giving out science does so many things in society. Mm -hmm. So I, I believe in aliens. So that's why I said there are aliens somewhere and there are human beings somewhere. So the aliens. So where are these aliens? Where the are they sitting? The I don't, I don't, I don't in know. The sky, I don't know. Spirits, they are. water, I hell, say, heaven. Soon enough, I'll just do some investigation. Once I have the, the money enough, like Elon Musk, I'll go to space and. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so Please like don't forget to bring us the whole montage we played. <laughs> yeah, <I'll laughs> when you come up I'll with come the final the findings. And show you the aliens and everything. Please do. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yikes. It's called yikes. Yikes the brand. Y-I-K. Yes, yikes the brand. Okay. The, symbolizing the introverts and in the society, but then they don't want to be seen. So they have, they have, I'm trying to tell them, if you see the, the first release, the first release, the hoodies, the t-shirts and everything, they were written. At the back here, it was something like we outside. So we outside basically symbolizing to Komahali. Adikama we are somewhere. 
because you'll normally find ukienda kwa children home unapata umeenda kwa children home unapata you've put some music you'll find a kid dancing and you'll be like this kid can dance like this but then because he doesn't have the support he doesn't have the place to be he doesn't have the platform would atafanyio kitu atakomenyamaza until the day you people go to children's home with some food nini nini atafurahia anze ku dance so oh, i'm trying to wow. say even wow. though we are introverted society, you are you're not seen you're not heard we're not listened to but then you are there so we are outside so you consider yourself an introvert as well i'm an introvert i'm really social i'm really social but then i'm trying to represent them because mindo sa kichwa yao mindo sa like they are simple i'm trying to represent them i'm trying to because most of my friends i've been having some friends they've been having issues they have depression issues they are, they are afraid to talk to their parents because they just that is due and go but mostly ladies you find ladies they are just i'm suffering from this my parents are not listening to me nini, nini. so i'm trying to tell them don't worry just learn to speak out because you know depression nowadays is something really critical it makes people kill themselves nini, nini. Right, i'm trying to yeah. find that thing i'm trying to make people be social introverts right. extroverts come together let's make something one um, so you are like the si unit yeah i'm the si unit exactly fantastic our uh, clients you know uh, i believe every business has clients i'm really interested to know who are your clients are they teenagers as well just young people like you i'm a adults as well i'm it's a mixture of everyone from all the directions i've been i, w- I, w- I will say mostly 70 percent are teenagers but then the 30 30% of the adults have started building it because I've I've just been done with the school the, the other year so I'm trying to build the other the other age bracket but then most of my supporters and most of my clients they're teenagers but then unapata sometimes they normally come with their parents and everything you know sometimes Kenyan parents have to confirm what you're going, going to get so that's why unapata parent amekuja anaona you have this thing you have official bits can you dress me can you and when you can dress the person you just tell them i can dress it's fine so you find you're building a, a love language between parents and the teenagers so i'm trying right. to build an age bracket of more people like 25 to 30 or something because you know i have to dress bigger people i can't keep staying on teenagers because i have to go if i want to go global i have to dress everyone if i want to right. make checks to go global i have to make checks for kids i have to make checks for teenagers right. for parents something that can be dressed by everyone okay it doesn't have to be focused on one area so yes i'm, just, I'm trying to focus on that thing right now right so you only make this kind of outfit somehow there's variety like We there's have t-shirts, different there's shirts there's we have coats. different things there are different this things this one is like a jacket this is a jacket this is a jacket with, i don't know yeah, it's another it's a yeah. jacket but then there are different things like you know i have a t-shirt inside it's something like you a, have another like t-shirt jacket this is jacket yeah with that uh, alien yeah, yeah so we have plain t-shirts we have plain hoodies we have and then i'm trying to do how much um the pants actually for hoodies hoodies 2500 2500 okay, that's hoodies. quite expensive though it's so expensive If you come if you come close and listen to whatever we went through to make the thing this production this printing the fabrics are normally expensive because if you make something bad someone 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 said a Kenyan man or a Kenyan woman they normally they normally keep criticizing so if you make something bad if I want to bring you something cheap something for 1000 bob you need to ninge mudhuru and chukwe something yeah somebody will say such an endegi coach exactly it's material it's material shows us so a lot of just go and print them in the pale kibera on the left screen 50 bob just print You know uh, I'll bring it no no probably uh, say I'm selling things that expensive but then I'll bring the thing which is cheap not not asema is you know uza is mean so criticizing is always there so me asema anga maybe someone will find it expensive but then if someone loves something you'll get it no no uh, a human being there's something called we have we have, we have some the attraction law ukianza kusema nataka kupanda hii Mercedes and I want this Mercedes even if you don't have money trust me you can save and get that Mercedes so if someone says I like X the brand it's looking nice I can have it. I'm sure someone can do the 2500. It's not something expensive. Because right. people normally buy designer. If you buy designer like this shoes, this Dior, I normally oh, get them this for This uh, the Christian Dior, like yes, the real, Dior. real see, Dior. These shoes are normally okay. going for 5000 shillings. Imagine. Okay. So you see, uh-huh. I wouldn't say I can buy this thing 5000 shillings because it's foreign because it's Dior and I can't buy Yikes because it's locally it's made you know. and it's 2500. Why? But why do people prefer to go for the Fendi the Yves Saint Laurent and Dior everyone, and not Kenyan everyone yeah. wants to be known everyone wants to trend mostly Kenyans Kenyans are really cloud chasers so someone will just go back to the store and we friend and just like in the home and you know having having a big brand on your on your on yourself this could like be riflani ni mvali Dior you know value everything yeah. you can tell me nothing i have friend on me so i'm i'm sure it's it's just the love for the thing for the brand or anything and then yeah. people want to be known and people want to be praised So that's why I'm trying to build this thing. You see this yikes, I want it somewhere 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 in 20 I have a, I have myself a vision 2030 for myself. Oh 2030. So mm-hmm. my vision 
when my brand comes to a place like kwa ile brand yangu you see the people are normally attracted to the friends or whatever right. aren't it to be the same with yikes mtu akiona yikes the easy type exactly you know. The mostly Kanye West, mostly Kanye West normally inspires me. And I'm trying, I'm trying, this year I have one goal, I want to, I want to know Kenyan stylists. They have told me the Kenyan stylists are there. Kenyan stylists have ideas, they are good, they are so nice. So I, I was thinking, what if we come together and bring up something? You see, the way, the way you'll find this Paris, Paris walk, Paris right. something. They are the fashion, New York fashion people week. Are coming, people, yeah. Are, yeah, people are coming from Kenya, from South Sudan, from just going for the fashion week. We can right. decide with the fashion designers, we come together and create something like a fashion week. To have two kids, to come along, to have two kids, to have two kids, to have two kids, to have something and just decorate, to invest, to, we bring a culture in Kenya. As you know, trying to build Kenya to be something modern. To say, and they wish to it, it is a growing country, growing country. See, yeah. we have something for our own, which can go outside. To an appear, hey, there's someone wearing, yikes, there's someone wearing an Ankara, where there's someone, you see that Lupita is taking things to get a height. Lupita, mm. Majimbo, the likes of those people. Right. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I want to do. And I want to take that thing as a fashion influencer. Utapata wale ni comedians, utapata mgini ni actor. Lupita is an actor, Majimbo is a comedian. I haven't seen a fashion designer from Kenya who has gone global, unless I'm not doing my research well. For real? Exactly. I haven't, I haven't seen someone who's so highlighted. You see, the Majimbo and, and Lupita are. Everyone knows them. Even my parents. Do you know who Lupita Nyong at an MBS? Do you know who? So that's what I'm saying. There's no fashion design in Kenya when you claim to do it. Maybe a work or maybe it's a but then they are silent. So it's a matter of coming out. I'm all the international celebs who are Kubo. Yeah, something of the sort. The so that, that, that's the dream. <laughs> that's the dream. That's the goal. All right. Mm, we go global. We go everywhere. As in, we go outside. All right, now talk about uh, social media. You said you have how many followers on Instagram? 43,000 followers. 43, that's quite a handful. Um, when it comes to you know, uh, social media, how is it important for a business or for anyone who is watching and they want to start something for themselves? Um, uh, do you believe that Mama Mboga can function well on yes. an Instagram page yes. and have clients come from there you yeah. know, to buy Skumawiki? Yes, as in the modern, the modern world, the modern world, everything nowadays is digital. You normally see sometimes you're in the house, it's 11.30 or it's 12 at yeah. night. But then someone just takes the phone and then get Glovo and eat your food. No, no. Some things in the world, they're, they're in the world things are coming to modern way. So as in someone who's trying, to, who's trying to start a business or something, I would advise them to focus on their social media because nowadays social media is really worth it. Utapata kama there are these brands, kama kina Denry, Africa, kina Nini. See these brands, they're not having physical stores. Utapata wana store tao, but then store yao utapata wana market at Denry, Denry, hingia upata nini. Basically they are marketing, they are doing it with the Instagram. On right. Instagram, we have influencers. On right. Instagram, we have... We have celebrities, we have everyone, everyone is there. Right. So if you just try and build your target, target market well and focus on investing on, you can invest in influencers, you can invest in influencers, you advert or something, you are getting people. You're getting, because whatever brand has won, I want to wear that thing because brand is my mentor. You see? So if you focus on an influencer, you can Ndaka wende mahali useme na uzamboga pahali. Hizi mboga ni kiuza hivi ziko freshly made zime toka kwa kini nini nini. Mtu anasema tu, I saw, I, saw someone, I saw someone advertising this thing and I love the person because we mtu anangame nispa. So let me go and try getting the food from that mama mboga. Let me go and try getting the food from Kilimanjaro. Let me, you see, I'm sure you've been influenced to go somewhere because of someone. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. You are like, right. Nilo amenda, amenda, amenda pale Kilimanjaro, they had a good senior. Why can't I try and go there? Because someone went. So right. I would say if someone is trying to build a business, yes, social media works. And that's what right. I've been selling through. During Kianzanga, I was, I was having an online shop. I never had a shop. I did, a physical, still, like, like a physical location. Yeah, I never had a physical store. It was mainly online. I'm coming, we're linking up, I'm giving you a good, you're living. Right. You see, so I've been doing the sales through online and it has been keeping me up. So I wouldn't say online doesn't work, it works. So how do you get your clients for you personally? Do you get like DMs, Emma? Do you share in WhatsApp yes, groups? Yes, I have, I have on WhatsApp, I have my business number. And on Instagram, I have a business page. It's called Astro Hyper. Okay. At the same time, I have my own page. So my page is more bigger. It has 43,000 followers. I normally do the marketing with my page. Utapata mimi just focus on influencers and because I'm one. So it's better oh. I just work. Oh, you I, consider yourself a fashion I con Exactly. So oh, it's right. better I just work with it myself. Need to invest here and and push it because me I push my things alone. Most of the things I've you know, I actually push pekiango the videos the nini nini. I had my friends. They came through for me. The nini. I to young influencers. It's mostly family friends. Family friends. But then I want to diversify this year because I want this thing to go somewhere. And I can't to push.
Right. By the by the time it's reaching December, we're going to see, hey, X is on the magazine, X is Nini, a Kenyan yeah. boy, a Kenyan yeah. wonder boy doing things. The boy is young, the boy is having his brand, the boy is... Um, Kenyan boy dresses as a pro. Exactly. Below the same. Exactly. Like you want to, you know, as a pro. Yeah. Do you believe it will happen? Inshallah. Well, they say, they say if, you manifest some, if you manifest something, it works. So okay. from my mouth to God's ears, a so, so will dress it. Hope one day Saproki will watch this recorded show. Amen. Hello, it's Saproki. Now, uh, let's talk about money. On, on this show, each and every person that has come on this segment, uh, we always talk about money. Cash, Dao, Cheddar, Mula, Mula, Kwanza, Mula. Chapa, Mula, exactly. Um, I always ask them, uh, what is your relationship with money? Do you attract money? Is money attracted to you? Do you chase money? Is, does money chase you? Is money running away from you? Or is money running towards you? Mm. And do you keep money? Do you have a love relationship with money? Everyone loves money. There's no one who doesn't love money. Everyone loves money. And money, money, if you put yourself into, if you put your head so much into money, you can find sometimes you're confused. Sometimes, maybe you've been doing your work, you've been doing your work, then it comes to end month. You've been, you've woken up, you've received 70,000 from this. So it's the payment coming in. The mind is just doing and happy, so no one, no one, no one can say you don't love money. Everyone loves money. And I wouldn't, I would say, I would say, yes, I attract money. When I'm looking like this, uh, attract money because someone will be like I'm looking nice when you look nice someone can talk to you when you look nice someone can approach you when you look nice someone can can be like how can I get this thing how can I get this leather pant how can I get this jacket so that's attracting money at the same time I chase money I chase money with this influence of mine with this dressing of mine utapata Monday to Friday you won't find me dressing like this make come Monday to Friday and my value advance zangu casual pale my jeans my t-shirt I'll be in town and if I'm taking delivery, Zuku, Nick, Pata Clan, and Anna Patiana for modern cost in the Mombasa, and any people come and just be like, Flaco, it's you. Now I'm behind yeah, Komboka. I'm working because at the same time, if I'm broke and I'll call you, you won't send me money. So I tell you, I big care when a Flaco influencer at Tembatana Kifana, between any, any, any. You know, some, some influencers, as in the influencing thing, people normally tend to be hiding because right. stuck in on a can. But I'm telling you, get on and Valia Miwani and Valia Mask and Vanin stuck in on a can. It's Nanga Izo. Because you'll be ashamed. Exactly. People will be like, you look different. You look different. It also happens to us on TV. Mm -hmm. Like you're off TV and you're walking. People are like, this is you now. This is you. you know? this, this, this so is the exact why does it happen? Does it come from a place of you know, self-esteem? Am I just the fear cause? Am I it's anxiety? No, mainly, mainly, mainly people are normally afraid of crit criticizing. You know Kenyans? Kenyans, contact Kenyans on Twitter. If they decide to criticize you, you can just leave the social medias and everything. So most of the influencers, they're normally afraid of the criticizing. You know, you know, just Kenyans, they like exaggerating. Rapata, umvalia Crocs, something, something normal. Crocs is just a shoe, like something. But then, okay, va, utapata mtona sema, ati umevalia Crocs. Why are you wearing Crocs? You are like, it's a shoe, you, you are wearing it too. But then, Brian Sakwa Kiva, it's something different. Why? Right. It's because you're an influencer. So right. mainly people are afraid of that thing. But then, me nicking your grind, I normally just do my thing. I'm not right. afraid of doing anything. All right, uh, second last question as you wind up. Um, what is the one lesson you've learned uh, since you started uh, this journey? Yeah, fashion influencing, coming up with all these amazing brands. What is that one lesson you've learned that anyone who is watching right now, you can tell them that this is really what I've picked up? Um, the main lesson I've gone through, main, the, lesson, the lessons have been a lot, but then the one lesson I like Just to tell one. people. Just like one. Yeah, exactly. I like to tell people, if you don't believe in yourself, there's no one who believe in yourself. There's no one who believe in you. The first thing you have to do, you have to believe in yourself before doing something. Ukiamkasubui in a false me, me me na jamia today, I'll get that 500 shillings. Okay. You see, when you wake up with a positive mindset, ukijiaki a positive mindset, I'll do this thing, niki drop. Yikes, people will love it. Yeah. People will love it. But then, ukiamkasubui in a false me, me na jamia na drop. You have, you know, the ear, <laughs> you know, uh, but have you ever received some flack for like, you know, because I understand thing. African parents will be like, are you Jay-Z or Kanye West? Are you, are you trying an artist? to be Chris Brown? Yes, you tell yeah. your mom, mom, I'm a superstar. I'm a superstar. Your mom is easy breezy. They understand yeah. me right now. They, yeah. We had some issues back then because, hey, what's going on? At some point, even my mom thought I was selling drugs because she was like, why are you getting this money? You pesa. you are young, you are pesa. Right. Was a bank. My mom was so hard on me. So she was like a panas until right now, it's grind. Right. 
Ju ni lifika pali eh amanza kuona siku hizi nafanya alikuja she normally comes sometimes you know she's a teacher anafunza western so she normally comes anakuja anapata nafanya sales na kuja na mavia tu kwa nyumba na wanaona wenyewe this girl doing something right. so you see so as in she says mama mimi ati oh, they, they have you see when you just try and show your parents who you are they'll yeah. come to understand you but yeah. then if you keep hiding what is she sumbuana mmegombana mfanya nini but then if you make them understand you you'll find them even supporting you Oh, wow. So that's what I did. I came up and just made them understand me while well, I napenda fashion, while well, like, this is my thing, this is my grand, this is what's paying me and this is what I want to do. And here you are. And here am I. And at peace at with peace. everyone. Everyone yeah. loves me. Even my dad, he normally wears my brand. He has his t-shirts and ava alakuja kwa my wardrobe and asema leo nataka kuchukua hii hood, nataka kufanya nini. As you know, unapata kumbe yenyewe mliko mnapenda, ni mtume kama nataka You normally right. love them dressing, you normally look so, so they embraced that mess. Yes. There's now something amazing they have accepted it because they've they've been seeing it they've been seeing me on magazines they've been seeing me on screen they've been they're seeing this thing so they're right. seeing the boys doing something shout out to them you know it's not easy to get supportive parents right? yes, yes, yes yes so you're blessed ah, i want you to give your social media we exit fast uh quickly quickly where people can find your um, outfits a number they can call or an email they can send and blah 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 That's um, your camera. everything everything on social media i'm normally focused on instagram so myself underscore puttyboy.flaco my page astro hype and this brand's page yeah, it's the brand so if you find me on social media you can communicate on how to talk on whatsapp yes all right yes that's it mm. well, you said your, your shop is located in imenti house all right so it's a room see one imenti imenti has this crazy <laughs> no the story there's there's another crazy story the story ah, it was but, back then but but I I don't <laughs> like it. it's the past <laughs> yes you it's now in the past, the past. dead and gone mm. So, so that has been Austin and Linda. You can call him a uh, pretty boy flaco. That's on Instagram, right? Yes. Fashion influencer, businessman. But who are some of the celebs you've worked with? Um, I've dressed Butros. Oh, Butros Milena, the, the rapper. Yes, the rapper. I've just recently. Okay. Um, who else, who else? I've done this thing. Quickly, quickly. I was doing gospel artist, DJ Mo. Oh, DJ Mo, uh -huh. Whatever, yes. But then right now, I want to focus on that because I'm outside right now. Okay. So that's my mission right now. So, so all the best, bro. Right, thanks, and bro. good luck. So, we take a break. We come back with Steph to close it up. Stay right here.